It's not financial advice, not legal advice for entertainment educational purposes only. And anything I say is my opinion. Please don't make any financial decision based on anything I say in these videos. That being said, hit the like button, subscribe button, all that YouTube algorithm stuff. So you get the videos I put them out. See what I'm thinking? See my last night data, but like I tell every day, the day they release us is false. I'm going to give us a false narrative of the market so we can make bad trading decisions. Listen, the FTX tobacco is the you know, the, the Ponzi scheme, the crime of the century. Well, not the crime of the century. The actual stock market and AMC play is the crime of the century. But it is the crime that keeps on giving, the Ponzi scheme that keeps on giving. It seems that <laughs> Caroline Ellison, you know, FTX Alameda, paid herself a $22.5 million bonus when she was fully aware that FTX and Almeida had a $10 billion shortfall that they could not explain. They were just, well, according to the lawsuit filed by FTX, they're alleging that Ms. Caroline Ellison was fully aware that $10 billion was missing. It was a shortfall that they could not account for and she was aware of the shortfall. And even though she knew that $10 million was missing, she still paid herself a $22.5 million bonus. And she was hiding the $10 mil billion, not million, $10 billion shortfall by putting it in her private notes. The official Almeida and FTX record, FTX records did not acknowledge the $10 billion shortfall. And this was three months before the collapse of FTX. I mean, it's absolutely crazy. The more we go down the rabbit hole with FTX Almeida, the worse it gets. And the judge asked Miss Ellison, did you know what you did was wrong? And her answer was yes. The judge was the judge asked Miss Ellison, did you know what you did was illegal? Her answer was yes. So they knew they were breaking the law. They knew they were robbing retail investors and they did it anyway. I don't see how Sam Bankman Freed gets out of this without a lot of jail time unless he starts giving up his buddies and the people in the government who was assisting him with this fraud. Anyway, please leave some comments. Tell me what you think. Do you think that it, it was logical to pay yourself a $22.5 million bonus when you were hiding a $10 billion shortfall? Anyway, have a great day. God bless. And I appreciate y'all on this journey with me.